Governor Hope Uzodima on Saturday distributed 2,700 smartphones and two cars to Imo youth to mark the 2022 St. Valentine's Day celebration. Mr. Uzodima, who distributed the gifts during the Hope for Imo Valentine concert in Oweri on Saturday, also promised them free airtime and data subscription. The two brand new Greeley cars were presented to Joshua Okeke from Olu local government area and Blessing Emekwe from Ikeduru local government area who were winners in a lucky dip at the venue of the program. Mm. The governor restated his commitments to youth empowerment through job creation and called on the youth to help fish out criminal elements disturbing the peace of the state. He promised to replicate the gesture of the three senatorial zones of the state so that the technical empowerment would get to all the youth of the state. He said, I have no, I have come to give the youth the opportunity to be part of governments and governors to stop unemployment by empowering the youth. My government belongs to you. It is your government. Emo youth and emo people in general within 18 more months. See the magic in magic on development, the government said. Governor said earlier, the special advisor to the governor on social media influence and organizer of the concert, Pascal Okechuku, thanked Mr. Uzodima for approving the event. According to him, the program is aimed at making emo youth technologically sound and bringing them up to speed with their counterparts across the globe. Imo youths are ready now, more than ever before, to work with the governor and contribute their quota to the good governance of the state, he said. The concert featured musical performance by popular artists including Mr. Flavor and Chiri Uduma. Also prominent Imo citizens who were in attendance included former governor E.K.D. Oahim, members of the federal and leg uh, state legislature, top government officials and business moguls business moguls okay <laughs> they will tell you we are going to do this it's a lie now when there's a meeting or any conference or an event they will that is when they will be telling you youth empowerment youth empowerment why is it that we can't even see this in then you come and tell us that uh, yes we started doing that you started how can you be this is uh, your third term your third uh, year in government and you are telling us that uh, youth empowerment in i think in 2020 is it 2024 yeah if i'm not mistaken that is when another election will come up in in most states so the for the past two years or two three years now you have been there there's nothing like a youth empowerment you have not even started it you are going to you are going to you are going to so now all those phones that they have given now they will want to equate it with a job creation they will want to do this but you just do it and let's say and begin to tell us we have done this we have done that hmm. is that not a waste of money because that money is not coming from his pockets it's coming he it came out from the people's people uh, from the government's uh, coffers indirectly this man called Opu Zodima is pleading to the emo uh, lights i am really sorry for him because he will never buy the conscience of the Imolites. The Imolites are people of goodwill, people with integrity, industrious people, people that always have the back of their brothers and sisters, no matter what. It is absolutely too late for Hope Uzodima to buy them with smartphones. How will smartphone and two cars genuinely take those youth out of poverty? I don't know. No, it's still saying that uh, they are still going to. They will, they will, they will. Hmm. Could this be described as indirectly vote buying? Of course, those who collected those uh, uh, phones, you think uh, they are going to be saying uh, negative things about him? They are going to be singing his praises. Supreme Court Governor, what misplaced priority you exhibited there? Instead of you to make the environment conducive for business cease to thrive, so that the youth would be prepared to get productively engaged and prosper. You are engulfed by stupidity and vanity. Sure, state resources wasting away based on incompetent leadership. So phones to the youth 
are the jobs created for them. Pity the youth as well. Rather, setting up a technical college for the youth to attend and learn how to make the phones. He is distributing phones made by others. By the way, what is total budget for these phones? I said this. I said it. So how we giving we barrels to the youth as part of empowerment? Because that money is just it's just a waste. You can imagine the ten thousand that they shared or whether fifteen thousand that they shared during election when Oshibajo was going from one market to the other, distributing fifteen thousand. 10,000 as a loan now i remember they said they are going to get the loan back now they can't get the loan back again they want to start another one they will get the loan which loan are they getting back hmm. i'm not from Imo. no matter what this man do he doesn't even deserve second term in office he wasted the blood of innocence in the land but i don't even see phone as empowerment please create uh, employment opportunities for youth or better see empower them with reasonable machine equipment, not some sort of smartphone, please. Even those ones that are being given, they say they give them keke, they give them this. In the, the next six months, everything will be with Yamutu. Make Imo you start the do Yahoo or what? <laughs> giving them phone, make their second they do it. I, I don't understand. Smartphone to do what? To browse? To do Yahoo or what? Hmm. They properly defend this. A different is government on social media. So God heal our land. The smartphone for what, if I may ask? To start Yahoo, to start call center business, to start bring one person that will bring other five people type of business. I don't know. Trust our people, they will collect and will never refuse anything free. Give uh, You give them, but they will go back to the trench. What is the government's interest with the Valentine's Day celebration for crying out loud? Create employment for the youth and pay them regular salaries. They can arrange smartphones and cars of their likes for themselves. And that's it. Election is close to the... So the young man is buying people's mind. Anybody who sold his PVC, we cry for it later. In the day. For four years, I promise them. I don't subscribe to mushroom empowerment. Provide them with a sustainable means of livelihood. Provide jobs for the youth or other private means of being self-reliance. Killing the youth through security men and giving the survivors phone is a prank of an overzealous and heartless leader. So guys, leave your comments below and let's have a take on this.